I went and picked myself up a little willy. Get it? Hey everybody, we've uh, got a problem to solve today and it has to do with a spare bedroom that I have upstairs with a very high ceiling. It's get a, uh, I have a Mitsubishi ducted unit. It's just like their ductless units, except this one's a, a ducted unit. And you'll see that later in the video. But at any rate, it is not pushing enough air to really circulate the air, you know, above six or seven feet. So I end up with a, a whole different climate at the bottom and a different climate up top of the room. It really is just not that effective. So um, I picked up a fan on Amazon or eBay. No, this was Amazon. You can find these on Amazon or eBay, and I strongly recommend if you're going to be putting a booster fan in line, don't go with the ones that you can get from Home Depot or Lowe's. I've used those before in other little projects, and they just don't move enough air. Uh, this isn't that much more expensive. I think this is only about 60 bucks, but it's uh, pushing out about 300 cubic feet per minute of air. That's a ton, and it actually has a lot of power behind that airflow. So if you've got a lot of uh, bends in the tube or it's a real high resistance line, it, uh, it does a great job of moving air through. The other thing I needed, because I don't want to just leave this thing running all the time and I don't want to turn it on and off every time I want to use it, I went and picked myself up a little willy. Get it? A little? All right. Uh, what this little guy does is it's a digital temperature controller and it allows you to set uh, different set points for when this blower will kick on and off. So when the compressor isn't running on the AC, it'll actually shut this fan off because I've got a little probe that's going to go in line. I'm going to probe my little willy. I get a little probe that's going to go in line and it's going to pick up the temperature and compare the differential between that and the ambient temp. You can also set it just to uh, turn on and off at certain set points regardless of the ambient temp. But uh, these are pretty cool. So once this is all installed, it's going to do its job. It's not going to waste energy by running when I don't need it, and I don't ever have to touch it again. So that's the plan here. So uh, we'll take you upstairs here. I'll show you where the problem is, and we'll start putting together the solution. So here in lies the problem. It's not so bad when it's in um, heat mode, but when it's in AC mode, this air just hangs down low, and it's compounded by the problem of having an extremely high ceiling here. I don't know how high that is, but it's probably about 11 feet, maybe 12, to the peak. So you get a whole different climate going on up here, and the air really separates. It just doesn't uh, doesn't do a nice job. So we're going to uh, boost this guy up. So I've got a uh, pretty unique house, and that creates unique problems. Uh, this is a solution that most people don't even know exists, but this is a DC inverted, just like the, um, actually I'll show you. Just like one of these guys, I've got these in the house as well. But there are rooms where I didn't want one of those things hanging in every single room. And um, they make this ducted version. So instead of what you would normally mount on the wall, you have a, a pretty slim, although it's substantial in its size, things about four feet wide. Uh, but you've got a, a ducted version of what would be on the roof or up on the ceiling. So I've got a whole bunch of lines coming off this, going to different parts of the house. And uh, this particular line right here, a little six inch insulated line, this is what feeds that bedroom floor register. So we're gonna put our booster in line right in there somewhere. get an outlet on this side of the wall so I'm gonna pull that apart and we're gonna tap in off that outlet because we've the uh, blower itself is sitting right about here on the other side of that wall so that'll work out nicely yeah nothing's ever easy the old metal box um, had to come out because I had two lines going in and I needed to feed a third but all three of them were coming from the top down so that just wasn't gonna work so 
they put up a good fight, but in the end I won. So I put a new uh, old work box in there and snake the wiring in, make myself an outlet right here, about the same height as the kill switch for the uh, air conditioner itself, which is now running. And I haven't mounted this yet, but we're going to plug it in and you're going to see once it and it's already reading the air conditioner is putting out 47.6 degrees so it kicks on at 55 and will kick off once the temperature running through this line reaches 65 so what that means is only when that compressor is running and we're putting out cold air will this booster fan kick on and as soon as this thing uh, the compressor kicks off and it just starts recirculating the temp will raise up above 65 and it'll shut this off to save me from running a fan that I, I don't really need for circulation. I just need it for, for air. So um, I'll show you. I'm, uh, i got to shorten this line up and do a few, few other things here. But for now, there's enough to give you an idea. The good thing is the fan is perfectly silent. All you hear is the air. Um, but you do ha hear the air and it is cranking so this I just tested it and in 10 minutes dropped the room temperature four degrees to go four degrees before it was probably a good hour and a half and, um, and it, it, if that it depended on how warm the day was so this thing moves a ton of air and like you say you can't even hear the hum uh, and then I was afraid it might be a little too loud in the hallway since it's mounted to that wall but it's really no louder than the unit itself, which is right here. Just a tiny bit louder, maybe a little bit of a hum, but otherwise it's great. So next thing, we'll uh, get that uh, unit mounted to the wall and uh, shorten the, the pipe, which should help me pick up a little more velocity and should be, should be good to go. I'd say we can check this project off the list is done and um, well worth the effort and uh, the cost which was under a hundred bucks for the temperature control unit and the blower and it, it's made a huge difference in that room and uh, will make uh, make it much more comfortable so if you're uh, thinking about putting one of these in I highly recommend you do it I would also highly recommend you get a decent blower um, do not get the ones at Home Depot in stock. I think Home Depot and Lowe's, you can probably special order these as well, but um, the ones in stock just do not have the output like this does. So I'm um, very pleased with it. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to throw them down in the comments section. If you like this type of video and like to see more like it, please hit like and subscribe. I will also be uh, populating around my finger additional videos that may interest you. So feel free to click on those. Subscribe button is right there. Thanks everybody, have a great day.